Hi, guys. You know what? We'll do a 10 minute starting soon screen today. We're stalling. I prepared for today's stream. I promise it's going to be a crazy bit. One more minute.
Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh. The camera's out. Okay. It's okay. Hello, good morning. Oh, it's technically still morning. It's 11.59. Okay, let me fix the camera. <laughs> oh. Awkward. I hit the sub goal today because I only want to chat on screen because this will be an edit. Okay, it's reconnecting. It's connecting. Hi, guys. It is Saturday, July 20th. And you know what? It's International Chess Day. I kind of want to just jump in today's stream. I do have a script prepared, so I'm going to be looking at it. I promise it's going to be a banger day. Look at everybody all hyped up. Or if you're not here, then let's, let's just pretend you are. Anyway, okay, I'm ready. I got to do my little intro. You guys know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. You know the drill. Okay, I can do this in one take. One take, Andy. I No, I do have a script. No, I think I could do it. Okay, yeah, let's see. It is July 20th, International Chess Day. In the past few days, I rediscovered my love for chess. I've been learning and practicing. So today, I'm going to be facing my greatest enemy of all time in chess. Now, there's a little bit of preparation we got to do. <laughs> Dude, this is so weird. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, let's go ahead and jump to our secret second location. We are live from Washington Square Park in New York City, everybody. Today, we're going to be scoping out any local chess games. And wait, what is that I see over there? I forgot to unmute. <laughs> okay. Okay. Editor, cut this out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Okay, I forgot to hide the second cam. Today, I'm going to be facing my greatest enemy. And what other... Okay. <laughs> Skip this part out. Okay. Today I'm gonna to be facing my greatest enemy of all time in chess. And what is your greatest enemy of all time? Of course, it's yourself. So today I'm gonna to be trying to play a chess game against myself. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Live from New York, everybody. And look, look, we have a second POV cam. Ain't no way, look. Whoa, that looks the color correction is wild. But look at that. Isn't that crazy? This is the new Sony ZV-6349. I don't know what it is, but I got it set up. Look at that, baby. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so how today's gonna go is we're just gonna take turns going back and forth. That's the plan. Also, I should switch the chess board because white goes first. I sat on the wrong side of the table. It's because, like, my camera is flipped, so this, in reality, is supposed to be on that side. <laughs> it's flipped! Okay. Oh, wait, now I gotta recenter in the camera. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that way these cameras lined up. That's another thing, too. Okay. So... Should we do predictions? <laughs> Let's see. Who will win? I literally had to rearrange my whole room today. Peace in white? Piece in now when we're referring to black and white we're referring to the chess pieces okay don't don't be canceling me today there it is okay I literally had to rearrange everything <laughs> prediction where should we put it 
Let's make it tiny. There we go. Oh no, let's put it bottom right. Okay. Put your predictions in the chat. Who do you think will win? Peace and white? Or peace and black? <laughs> we'll talk about behind the scenes later, but <laughs> well, where'd my hand go? You know, this was like a lot funnier in my head. But we're here. Okay, I have the first move. This is also not a timed match. I, I could not get one of those stopper timers. Okay. White goes first. Classic move. E4. Now switch. Editor, please, like, cut out all the walking that I do. You know, I'm gonna get my steps in today. Okay, so my opponent, Peace and White, did E4. You know what? Copying. E5. <laughs> Dude, my ass is so fat, I'm gonna knock the desk over. My opponent, Peace and Black did e5 and i must control the center is what i've learned the past few days so the move i must do is wait no 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 because if i move my second pawn that's in the d file it'll get attacked by the pawn so i think my best bet is to free up space for my other bishop no wait should i do a knight? i don't know i don't know the openers yet uh or uh, our... I'll take a knight out. N F three. Live in New York. Okay, my opponent, peace and white. Then N F three. Then what I must do? I must also control the center because I don't know any other openers. Freeing up space for my bishop that's located at c8. Moving my pawn up on this side. I'm going to try different strats on each side of the board. So d6. <laughs> I can't. I can't. My opponent, Peace and Black, is not moving their attackers, but they did open up the diagonal for the bishop located at c8. I want to trap it somehow, but I don't know how yet. This is not like chess.com. There's no spaces for me to see like where I can go. Because it's real life. I hate real life. Freeing up space for my bishop as well. Pawn d3. Also, my hair looks horrible right now. If you see my butt today, no you don't. Am I going to be playing chess against yourself? Yeah, I'm my greatest enemy. Hi, go, go, go. Can we get some yos? I wonder who's going to win. I mean, just looking at the openers right now, like, piece in white has a lot more pieces out on the board. Put your gambas in chat right now. Hmm, peace I too, hmm. B, BG4 to threaten the knight located at F3. I wanna make peace and white squirm. Ten seconds left on the prediction. Nobody gam, but you guys suck. <laughs> okay. 
since my knight is being attacked, I could leave it there because another pawn could attack the bishop back. And that would be an unfair trade. Losing a knight for a bishop, that's kind of an L, honestly. But my knight currently does block the path in which my bishop can take. So it's either I leave my knight where it is. That way, if bishop does advance to take it, I can take it back with the pawn. Because if I move the knight right now, this bishop can advance all the way to c1 and take up my bishop as well. So that was honestly a really good move by Peace and Black. I did not think that far ahead. Opposite me did not think... Wait, I didn't switch the scene. Oopsie. Okay, let me say that all again. <laughs> okay. So Peace and Black to move bishop... The g4 was actually really good because the bishop can either take the knight or if I move the knight to protect myself, it could attack my bishop. But if this bishop does attack the knight, the pawn will just take it out. So the best, most safe decision right now for me, peace and white, is to leave the knight where it is. That is my guess. Or not guess, that's my deduction. deduction. Like tax deduction, deductions, okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 the bishop would advance to take the queen. I was looking at the wrong diagonal. <laughs> okay. Uh, awkward. I'm trying to figure out ways that I could take a pawn, because I honestly, I want blood. NC3, just to get another player on the board. Oh, wait, you can see the mouse on the crop. <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, I'll explain why the crop is funny later. Today's stream took a lot of effort. It may not look like it, but it did. Now, if I take the bishop and take out the knight that's at f3, the queen would clap me. So that's, I'm going to leave it stunlocked there for now. Pawn G5. I don't want to say my strat yet. You know what's surprising? I bought this shirt like three weeks ago and it didn't button. But look, it's fully buttoned now. I mean, my tummy is still kind of big, but it buttons. This is a men's large. Okay. My opponent advanced their pawn. My knight is still stunlocked there. Oh, I didn't see this. I could move bishop from c1 to g... to g5. But that's not the best either, because it would be a similar mirror mode here. The... Oh, wait, no, that's... Yeah, that's the queen. The queen would get me. Not a good move. Beginning game is so difficult. I don't know any openers, so I'm just, like, I'm just willy-nilly moving things more often than not.
I really want blood though. <laughs> And B5. Right now, the white knight is attacking the pawn located at c7, but it wouldn't attack because then the queen could take it back. That would be a silly move for peace and white to do. Get my knights on the, out on the battlefield. And F6. I should not move the knight. <laughs> you know what's interesting? Me playing against myself gives me a bit more insight into what my opponent would think. Maybe this is actually a good exercise. Who knows? Oh, wait, interesting. Since my opponent last turn moved their knight to f6, the threat I had of moving this knight to take the pawn is now gone. Nx, Nx g5, I now have a pawn. Just another pawn in the machine. That might not have been the best kill, but you know, it's fine. I'm going to move the mice, mouse to this side. The knight located at g5 is currently threatening two pawns. White could be setting up a future fork, actually. <laughs> Unintentionally. They could be trying if they advance their knight one more turn. Bring the bishop up. They would be threatening both the knight and the queen. White would just have to find a way to line up the king, or sorry, to line up the knight so it could attack the queen with both the bishop and the knight. And I do see how they could do that. They have to bait first my black knight located at f6 to move. Advance their white knight to e6 and then push their bishop to g5. That is what I see right now. But what move can I do to counteract that? I think I just need to get more fighters on the board that are not pawns. Oh, wait. No, this is crazy. White threw. They're in check somehow. Wait, wait. Wait, I think I messed up. I missed a check. Err. Uh. Does this void out the game? I forgot what move I did last turn. Oh, 
Oh, I think what I did is I took the pawn. That was at, yeah, it was at G5. That would have put me in check. That I think that's a legal move because that was just a throw. That was a throw on white end. White end, they literally did not see the potential check, so that's a legal move. Okay. No, wait, no, it's not legal because then they would have been put into check. Can you, like, they can, okay, I don't, I'm going back, because White should not have been able to make that move anyway, so we'll void that out. White goes back. Now that I've learned that if I move this knight, <laughs> it would put me into check. So that knight has to stay then. How can I avoid check? I think the best thing I can do here is threaten the bishop so it falls back. So pawn h3. I need to find a way to attack the horse at f3 because the king on white side is not protected like at all right now the only thing they got is the queen Pawn c6 to threaten the knight. Yeah, I'm not in check anymore. I have to check now. <laughs> I have to check if I'm in check. You know, we don't got a ref. I can't pay up anybody today. Also, thank you for the follow. Plus one. Thank you. Actually... Moving bishop from c1 to g5 could be decent because the knight is still blocking the queen. So if I moved a bishop to take the pawn, I wouldn't be threatened at all. Oh, wait. Black didn't advance the bishop. They forgot. So, the pawn at h3 could take the bishop, but then it would be threatened by the knight. Pawn for bishop goes kind of crazy. So, pawn, it would just be xg4, I think, right? Now, my king is no longer under threat. Black threw last turn. Actually throwing. Dang, I lost a bishop. God damn it. <laughs> I kind of want to advance my pawn that is at h7. Because if the rook takes that pawn... Then the rook would just take it back. That would be silly. So, if this does get to late game, pawn far left will be the one to become a queen. I don't know what the best move is, though.
Oh, I just take knight. XB5, lost a knight. Man, dude, I'm throwing! It's so hard to use the mouse with my left hand. Well, I lost my knight. Well. Bishop could take the pawn. That is at g5. Just another kill. I'm, like, focusing too much on getting pieces right now. I'm not, like, strategizing properly. This pawn, located at d3, is not moved. I will advance it two spaces. The knight can take the pawn at d5, but then the pawn could just take it back. That'll be silly. Right now, it seems like I'm playing piece for piece, blood for blood. My knight is kind of stuck here. I don't want to move to the outer edge, and if I move the knight to c6, it's under threat. I kind of want to advance my queen somewhere, but there's no good place to advance. The only diagonal I have will land me on a5, which would the queen would just take me, so that would be silly. I kind of want to just take out a pawn right now. So I kind of want to advance my knight to g4, or because these pawns are both stuck in the center. They're all stuck. I'll do it. Nx g4. Well, I lost a pawn. You know what would be kind of crazy right now? Bishop takes pawn at g5. Now, the reason why I did this is because if the queen takes the bishop, it would be under fork. Because the knight would be able to take the queen if it takes the bishop. Oh, that's a crazy move! Okay. That's crazy! What am I going to do? Okay, so since the queen, if it takes the bishop, it's under threat, it would also get hit by the horse. So the only thing I can do right now is move the queen. Or I can move the queen, advance, I can either move my queen left, right, diagonal, or move this pawn up one, 
Move the pawn to f6, that way the bishop is also under threat again. And then if the bishop takes, if the bishop takes the pawn, if I move it to f6, then my queen would take a next turn. So it would, if I move this pawn up one now, it would force the bishop to fall back. I'm doing it. Pawn f6. Dang, I'm so smart. I thought peace and black would have been cooked. My plan didn't work. <laughs> now I'm under threat. There's no good place for this bishop to fall back to. I'll keep it in the center of the board at e3, b e3. Ooh, wait, I moved the bishop to BE3, but now the bishop is under threat from the knight. If I take the knight for the bishop, the pawn would take me back, but that would be crazy. I could do that. I could. Also, hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Best of luck to both competitors. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, the chat, I, it's hard for me to read chat because it's across the room. In this corner, having been in Cutis in Berlin, Cold Blood, and facing against multiple other critics, Peason underscore 17, in another corner, we will also, we, we will almost as keen as Peason's, I can't read it. It's too far from my, my eyes to see. Love the fit, thank you. I bought this shirt just for today. We'll talk about it at the end. Why? Hmm, what should I do? What am I going to do? I don't want to take the bishop because then my knight would die and I don't want to lose another knight. Or no, I lost a bishop already. I'm playing as black right now. There's literally no good spot for the knight to move. Falls back to h6 under attack by rook. Advances to h2. Rook would take it. Take the pawn. Okay, if the knight is going to die, either way the knight will die. Is going to die. I'm going to take the bishop. N, X, E3. We'll talk about it during the post-game interview. See, you get it. You get it. You know, I'll say it too. I think you're one of the best new chatters. You understand the vibe. Okay, back to work. <laughs> I lost a bishop. But look at what the knight will lose. <laughs> Dumbass bitch. Pawn takes knight at e3. Grr, I lost a knight. But that was anticipated. So let's see. The pawns are still still locked in the center. I need to bait the pawns to move somehow. But there's no safe way to do so. The only thing I can really bait right now is moving my knight, but then I would just lose the knight because the pawns would just take. Getting my bishop on the field. 
B H six. Oh wait, why did the bishop do that? That's so dumb. R R X R H R <laughs> R X H six. They lost their bishop. So stupid. <laughs> A truly masterful move from Peason's wife. What is black peace and black to do? <laughs> I can't. I can't. You know, whenever I edit this, I might actually do like a voiceover. I'm debating. Honestly, that is such an L. I lost both. I think Peace and Black is going to lose. <laughs> I'll say it now. I'm betting. One dollar on Peace and Black losing. Honestly, I think Peace and White has a decent formation right now. There's no good place for me to advance my queen. I genuinely don't know what is there's I can't think of a good move. Advancing the pawn to a5. Maybe I'll get a queen who knows. Peace and white. What has inspired you to face off against your all-time nemesis? Um, money and clout. I'll say it right now. Be honest. Did you click on the stream because of the title? Okay, let's see. What can I do now? Still no good place for my white queen to move? Oh, look at this. B, X, B, 5. What is check? Plus, oh wait, it is B, X, B, 5. B, X, B, 5 plus, because now the king is in check. W! It's like she's in her mind, I know, right? Yeah, I'm literally in my own mind. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, I'm in check. What am I gonna do? Monk up. Safest thing? Advance the queen one space, that way it threatens the bishop back. The bishop should fall back. Q, D7. My god, Ludwig music. Now my bishop is under threat. The bishop could take the queen. But then I would lose the bishop. It would be an insane move if I just took the queen. 
But honestly, taking the queen for a bishop is a dub. I'll do it. We ball. Bx d7. You know what? I'll say it. I think peace and black is gonna lose. Uh oh, it's not looking good for me. I'm also like not rigging this for one side to win. This is just so like I practice thinking how the other opponent would think. Okay, well. NX D7. Lost my queen, might as well take their second bishop, honestly. That's the thing, kid. It's rigged from the start. Exactly. Just looking at the board, black right now has more pieces lost, but I've lost more valuable... Oh no, but black did lose their queen. I don't know who's gonna win, honestly. I might just throw on either side. Pawn A3. Who has better odds to get more money? I don't know right now. Both sides are like kind of throwing. The biggest throw definitely is Black losing their queen. Honestly, biggest throw of the year. This could be kind of crazy. Oh, wait, I could have castled. No, I can't castle. Wait. Pause. I think I put the king on the wrong spot. Um. Isn't the king supposed to go on the black square? Um. <laughs> Queen goes on the same color? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Okay, well, if it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, oh well. Also, my computer's overloading. Monka. I gotta turn my fan up. I think I have too many tabs open. Full speed fan. That should help a little bit. Queens go on their color? Okay, so I did do it right. Thank God. All I remembered is that white king goes on white square. Because we saw that in the video. Okay, it's better now. No more lag. Okay. Only thing I don't like about the shirt is that I gotta keep tugging it down. Back to work. Oh, yeah. Rook, G8. Why not? Um, guys, let's spend 30 minutes. Click follow button right now, and I'll say thank you. I'm not even kidding. Now, why would they move Rook, G8? Kind of weird. But we'll leave it be.
I feel like the rook was trying to take the pawn, which that is true. So I'm moving my pawn, or sorry, I'm moving my queen to g1. R, X, H7 to take the pawn. Wait, no, I'm black. <laughs> That's, I'm playing both sides. Literally. <laughs> Literally. I think I want to advance my knight. And C5. Why are the people in the background not excited for this match? I'm sorry to tell you, this is all fake. Green's green. Wait, it's not. It's not doing it. I was snapping. <laughs> pawn to b4, so I can threaten both the pawn. And a knight. Ludwig music. Boys! <laughs> right now, a knight and a pawn are threatened. If I lose that pawn, oh well. It'll just open up a, it'll open up the file for my rook. I don't know. You know, it can be kind of crazy. RG6 to threaten. Wait, no, that's stupid. I already put my finger up. It's stupid. No. You know what else is stupid? Watching ads. Because guys, we're an hour into stream. So if you don't want to miss a single second, click subscribe right now. And if you like Amazon, don't look at my butt. <laughs> If you like your Amazon Prime to Twitch, you can subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Damn stupid. Um, Peace and White will explain the blender in a second. Get boomed. I want to put my hair up, but it's going to ruin the contingency. Okay. So black advanced their rook to g6. The problem with that now is if this rook takes their rook, their black pawn will just take my rook, and that's an L. So my rook should fall back somewhere. Oops. R, R, H5, because I'd still be in the center of the board.
pawn b6. That way, if the pawn attacks this pawn, I can just take it back. I'm surprised I haven't, like, put myself in check. <laughs> Accidentally again. Both sides are playing very safe. They don't want to lose more pieces. Black is down six. White is down four. <clears throat> I also just realized black did not fall back their knight, so I'm just going to take. Pawn takes knight at c5. L black. L, piece of black. So please. Well, that was another blunder. Right now, Black only has their king and two rooks. <laughs> oh. Pawn takes at c5. N H four to attack the rook. Well, I gotta move the rook. I'm trying to find a place that I can advance the rook forward to take out another pawn. R, G4 to threaten the pawn located at E4. Because I didn't want to fall back. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to lose the pawn at e4. There's nothing I can do to protect it right now. I can't attack anywhere. I'm just going to have to lose it. I just have to think of a way to counteract to take that rook if it does take. Which there's not. My queen is stuck behind the pawn. Best bet, advance pawn to g3. Just to get into the queen started. Let's see. Rx, e4 to take a pawn. Unavoidable. Plus my rook is safe there. Q, 
QF2 to threaten the pawn and advance my queen forward. I can maybe start setting up a check or a checkmate. I don't want to move the pawns away from the king, so I'm going to move the piece that's furthest away. Or no. No. I should not do that. I was going to say I could move the rook, put the king into check, to force it to move, but then the pawn would take. I could also advance my rook here to take the pawn, but then the king or queen would take. Depending on if the queen advanced next turn, which she might. If white was smart, they would advance the rook in the knight pieces before advancing the queen. And I'm going to assume the white guy is smart. I mean, white piece. And, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, the white piece guy is smart. Pawn b5. Rx h7 to take a pawn. Well, I'm really struggling right now. I cannot take the knight because the pawn would protect. My rook is kind of stuck there. Problem I'm going to run into is if the rook advances, I will be put into check, so I, I literally would have to move the king. There's no other pawn that can protect the king right now. On c4. Maybe I'll get a queen, who knows. Pawn d6. I'm going to advance to try and get another queen. Pawn b4 to try and bait. Peace and Black is in a tough spot. I know for real. She really threw at the start of the game. Oh. oh wait, I'm playing as white right now. <laughs> Hmm. 
Wait. I'm, wait, I'm, I'm thinking. I can maybe get a checkmate. No? No, or maybe it's stalemate? Okay. What I'm thinking, I'm playing as white, so I advance the pawn one space, that way the king is under threat. It would be under uh, threat directly, because it's a pawn. Oh wait, the king could just take the pawn. No, it wouldn't be able to take, because the rook is right here. No, it wouldn't be a, a stalemate or anything, because the, the king can still move to the left and block the pawn. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be, it would just be check. Check, check D7, or D7 check. I'm in check. I cannot take the pawn because the rook is there. Honestly, the rook staying here is such a clutch move. I did not think that far ahead, but it's honestly so good. So right now, the only legal moves the king can make would be f8 or d8. I could also... Yeah, that, that's the only thing I can do, because the rook can't come in and protect from the side. The only move that I can do, d8. That way I can block the pawn from advancing. That's literally the only move I think I can do. I mean, I don't know how to play chess. I don't know. I'm new. Also, I drank all my water. <laughs> I'll say it. Super Mario 3D World has the best music. I need to work on advancing my pieces. Wait, I don't know if this is check or checkmate. Wait, is this checkmate? Wait, pause. I think this is checkmate. If I take the pawn located at f7. Wait, where was the queen before? I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> okay, this could be checkmate. Because in that one move, the king is being attacked directly, right? And then, if the king moves di or to the side, the, the pawn could take. And then if it moves forward, the rook could take. And there's no other pawn to protect the king. I think that's a checkmate, right? Somebody tell me. I need to know. I, also, I literally forgot where I put the queen <laughs> before. Somebody tell me. I think that's a checkmate, right? I think the queen was here. Here, I'll put a down piece to remember. If I advance the queen... Somebody tell me! I'm gonna wait. Lurkers, you're allowed to talk. <laughs> I'm watching? Okay. So just to reiterate... Queen was at f2. If I advance the queen to f6, take the pawn, it, I think it would be checkmate because the king would be attacked directly by the queen. There is no other pawn to protect the king right now. So if the king moved to either e8 or c8, it would be under threat by the pawn. And if the king moved to e7... Or c7, it would be attacked. Oh, no, 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 no. It wouldn't be checkmate because c7 is still a safe square because the rook can't pass the rook pawn. Never mind. Never mind. 
Man, I thought I cooked myself. <laughs> also, I jellyfish. Can we get some yod? Okay, that was not a checkmate. I got too excited. But that was still a decent move. I'll still do it. I'll still run it down mid. QXF6. Check. Yeah, I can still run in zones. Yeah, I figured it out. I was close, though. Like, I was on track. I was kind of cooking a little bit. Okay, so now the only legal move that we figured out that the king can do is C7. Get out of check. Get out of dodge. Let's keep track, tracking, trapping the king. Oh wait, but now since the king, I mean, this is good for me, peace and white. Since the king had to advance forward, I got a queen. How do I, uh, how do I, I'll put, I'll put two pawns down to indicate that it's a queen because I literally will forget. W. And I'm also in check. Wait, no, is that? No, is that checkmate? Wait. Wait, is that checkmate? No, it's not. It's not. Either way, this was the only move the king could have made. I was here as a pawn. I advanced forward, became a queen. Yeah, this is a rook. Oh, wait. No, that was stupid of white to do. That was so dumb. No, that was like the only thing they could have done. Because the king would have taken them next turn anyway. No, it wouldn't have. Either way, Black King is in check. I'm playing as Black right now. The King? I would have to take out the Queen, I think. No, but if I take out the Queen, I would still be under threat. Wait, am I cooked? <laughs> okay, well, what happened was Black had to move diagonal. So that was a safe turn. Now it's a white turn. They advanced the pawn to become a queen. I think this is checkmate. I think Black lost. I, I do think it's checkmate. Because this queen is here. So, me turning the pawn into a queen is a direct threat to the king in this turn. King cannot move here, here, here because the rook, here because the rook, here because the queen, queen, queen. And the rook, even if it took out this queen here, the, the opposing rook will take it. I think this is checkmate. Right? It has to be. You know what? I <laughs> can see it in the camera. You know what? GG. Well, I had a little inkling feeling that Peace and White would win. Man, that was actually really fun. <laughs> okay. I think so. Yeah, yeah, that was a checkmate. Black got cooked. I think it was over for Black the moment it lost the queen. I just realized...
No, I was gonna say I could have kept advancing the black rook forward to threaten White's king, but I didn't have enough turns. Yeah, that's that's checkmate. W peace and white. Well, live from wait, I gotta go back to the other side. <laughs> Blood from New York. No. <laughs> well, that was me facing my greatest enemy in chess. It was honestly really fun. Kind of a silly idea I had randomly like six months ago. And you know what? I did it. You know what? It's a green screen. It's not real. It's not real. Honestly, playing against myself was really silly to do. But it did genuinely make me understand more of what the enemy would be thinking. You know what? I challenge everybody to try this at home. This was actually really interesting. And that was our finale of Chess Week. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch me play games live, follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peace and underscore 17. And like the video and subscribe. Do it now. But thank you for watching. Also, this board is magnetic. Wait, that's crazy. Look. Wait, I was going to like flip the board. They're stuck on the board. Look at that. That's good. I was gonna flip the board, but like it still works. Wait, that's, I didn't think the magnets were that strong. Okay, wait. One fell off. Look at that. Ten bucks on Amazon. That's crazy. The outfit tech. Oh yeah. Now I can talk to Chet. You guys want to see the real me? Oh wait. How do I? Oh, I turned the camera layer off. Yo, this is my green screen. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Okay, it's confusing looking at other people's boards. I've been spoiled by the website that does everything for you. Block illegal moves, announcing checkmate, etc. No, literally. I had the issue earlier. I think it was like turn six or something where white was put in check and I just didn't realize. So like I had to redo the turn. Okay, let me turn off the green screen. That way you guys can see the real me. Oh my god, guys, it's fake! It's fake! Okay, so the reason. So, in order to get the chess POV, I had a tripod here. Wait, this was green screen? It's not real? What? You know what? That just means I'm great at editing. Who wants to hire me? Who wants to take the hit? Okay, so I had my. My chess cam here. So that's why. On the green screen layer, oh wait, that's why I had to crop here, <laughs> that way you didn't see the tripod. <laughs> and then, it took me literally two hours, look at that shitty green screen, I have two sheets of Dollar Tree tablecloths. But you know what, it works, it works. Wait, oh where did Peace and Black go, oh no. Yeah, okay, so another Easter egg. I don't know if anybody noticed this, but I'm wearing a two-tone shirt. It's cool. So, like, this side is just stripes, and then this side is stripes with leaves. So, like, I was going to get, like, a two-color two-tone shirt, but they were, like, 50 fucking dollars. Ain't no way I'm buying a $50 shirt for a one-off stream. So, like, that's why when you look at, like, side POV... It's like a different shirt, so like it's a different person. Also, my camera's there, but Chad is here for me today. So yeah. Paint the tripod green for next time. That's genuinely a good idea. I noticed it, but you told me to wait till, till the end. Wait, you're so smart. See, I love doing little Easter egg shit. I know that's what I enjoy as a viewer too. Ew, I hate the side POV. I hate it. Also, I, you probably noticed and sometimes when I'm like standing up from the chair... The green screen reflects onto my chairs because the chairs are like faux black leather. So like, <sighs> that's why I kept chroma keying the chairs too. It was so frustrating. It took me like 20 minutes to like figure out a decent chroma key setting. Because since OBS updated like, um, I think two weeks ago, it's been shit. Some of the UI is better, but like some of the UI is, bla is worse. I thought you would do... Black and white nails. I thought about it, but I don't have white nail polish. I kind of do, but it's not like pure white and it makes me sad. I want to get new polish, but I don't need it. 
Well, we have the squat. Well, that was okay. I'll move the mic. I don't know how audio sounded for today's stream. Hopefully, it's fine. Okay, let's do a little outro. Well, that was the end of Chess Week 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed. I honestly like chess a lot more than I thought I would. So, maybe we'll make chess like a daily game on stream. I'll have to like... Sorry. I don't like squatting. You know what? Maybe we'll do like every other day chess for like 20 minutes. I, th I did download the chess mobile app. Because they do... If you have a Google Play account... You can link it to your computer and play on your computer. So, if I do do chess on stream, maybe we'll do a stream in, like, in the future when I get, like, really good at chess. Where we face viewers. But I think I want to do trying to defeat every single chess robot. And then just play chess every day. I think I I'm down to do that, honestly. Remember to cancel the sub? I'm literally doing that tonight. <laughs> the peace in Gambit? <laughs> What would be my gambit? What 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 would it be? Also, we're getting a headless cam today. No head. Also, the contrast is fucked. I'm like too washed out. Chess can be addicting though, not even being funny. I know. I kind of really like playing. I thought I would hate this week because um, when I do streams, for anybody who's new here, I usually have a themed week every month. So... January is Wee Week, February is Valentine's, March is Pokemon, April's birthday. So I planned on doing chess back in January. So even if today, even, even if these like streams of the week were simple, like I've been like thinking about like what to do, jokes and shit for the past few months. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Um, I'm tired. It's hot. <laughs> So I think we're going to wrap here for today, guys. So. Okay, I got to look at the camera now. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatter circus, thank you for hanging out today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun. Also, this will be an edit on YouTube. Talking about YouTube, new video public on the channel. Click the link in the pin chat. Over here, click the link. Do it now. It is an edit from um the ap spanish stream so if you're a spanish speaker you can watch the video and leave in the comments anytime that i fucked up um see how like fluent i am um i'm standing up i'm like fucking tired vlog watchers click the link in chat do it now um the plan is simple you know i've streamed four days in a week no i've streamed four days in a row this week which is huge for peace in so I'm probably going to take tomorrow off. I did promise chat I would have new artwork available on the website. So make sure you've bookmarked my website, peaceandart.myshopify.com. I will have new lino prints available by Friday. I promise. Fingers are not crossed. They will get done by Friday. And price points will range between probably like 10 to 20 dollars for those lino prints so they're a bit um lower price point um yeah so next time you'll probably see me on this channel in the monday tuesday but if i don't stream by tuesday on this channel you will see me on my second channel which is peace in underscore art click the banner in chat make sure you're following my second channel which is peace in underscore art where I will paint any orders that I receive live, and also just, like, random art streams, whatever I'm feeling. So whenever I do start on those lino prints, I will carve the stamps live. W. And they're, like, rubber stamps that, like, I literally hand carve. So make sure you're following the second channel. Oh, I know why I look so washed out today. It's because I have the window open because it's hot. I was like, why do I look so pale today? I literally have a tan. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Any chatter slickers, thank you for hanging out. I know today's stream was a bit weird, but I promise the edit will be great. So if you want to see the final edit, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at peace in 17. 
Um, once again, thank you all who watched. I hope you guys enjoyed Chess Week. Um, when we get back to this channel, I owe chat a Mario Kart stream. You know, we're going to clip farm. So make sure if you like the clips, watch that stream. And then we need to be peace lock. I need to fucking be peace lock by the end of the month. I told myself I would. Literally, the only thing I have left in the run is Elite Four. Literally, that's all we will do for that stream. It, it might take me fucking three hours, though. So we'll see. And then what else do I have planned for the month? Oh, I cannot wait because when I beat Pokemon Emerald, we'll finally be able to play Poke Rogue. Also, I've been playing a lot of Super Auto Pets offline. I've gotten like four wins and I kind of want to do a Super Auto Pet stream. Like stream ends when I get a win. I, I'm kind of down to do that now. But yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the month. Peace Lock, beating Peace Lock. Mario Kart, I owe Chad a Mario Kart stream. And then like random games, you know, classic PC content. Oh, I also want to do it just chatting next week. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys when I see you. So probably Monday or Tuesday on this channel. And if not, you'll see me on our channel. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. The Pokemon hate was fake. No, I, I still don't like Pokemon. It's not my favorite. But Pokemon Emerald is pretty fun. Like, if I wasn't doing a Nuzlocke, I think I'd enjoy it a lot more. Also, we did get a follower today. Thank you, too. Um, I don't know how to say the name. But thank you for the follow. We got a follower today. Ain't no way. Dude, this is going to be a pain of a stream to edit. <laughs> oh, a Nuzlocke, the hate makes sense. Oh, I just, I don't like the modern Pokemon games, I'll say it. They're kind of, like, too easy. Short piece and stream. You know what? I might be addicted to just now. Oh, I'm so- I literally had to rewrite my whole room for today. I'm not excited to moving everything back. Oh my god. Hashtag first world problems. But guys, please, please, please go watch the most recent YouTube video. I would appreciate it. Whew. Grandmaster when? Give me like five years. I think I can do it genuinely. Okay, final minute. Any last words for me, guys? Today was really fun. Hexagon? Are you launching an NFT, huh? The moment I shell an NFT, please cancel me, guys. I'm not even kidding. That's a word? Oh yeah, it is a word. Also, I missed your AMA redemption. Peace and white. What does it feel... Or what does... How does it feel to finally defeat your biggest enemy? You know what? It feels great. I'm going to talk to my ther about it, therapist about it for sure. You know, this shirt is cool, but it's not breathable at all. I'm sweating. And like, not in the fun way. Okay, bye guys. Thank you for watching. Seriously, I hope you... I know these streams are like very silly, but it's still really fun to do. You know, I love Jerma. Okay, I'll see you guys uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday. If not, you'll see me on the R channel. So make sure you're following that channel as well. Seriously.